For many of you, you're just not tired enough yet. You haven't hit rock bottom. You're not desperate enough. You're not hungry and thirsty enough for it. And this is why you can't show up in the world of consistency. We get deeply immersed in the whirlpool of another version of ourselves every single day. For me, it's deeper than get up at 2 a.m. and grind. Because I can get up, get dressed, get in my car, get to the gym, and sit on my phone. And so really the question we have to ask ourselves is, are we implementing the information that we know? What we've written down, what we're listening to, what we know to do, are we doing it? Are we implementing? Many of you are too ambiguous with your future. Not only are we not aware of who we are, but we have no idea where we're going and why we're going there. Once we get identity, our why and our where, our mission, our purpose, I do this thing effortlessly. I do this thing at two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. I can lose sleep. I can miss a meal. You can step out of my life and I'm just gonna keep going. When it seems as though life has not only got me sliding down a wall, but it's knocked me flat on my back. All of a sudden, I've got a bounce back in me because I'm disciplined, I'm calculated, I'm principled, I'm aimed. I know who I am and I know where I'm going. I don't know how many of you need to hear this, but this is the hour that you climb out of the depression, walk out of this thing, run out of this thing, claw out of this thing, crawl out of this thing. But today you come out. Be on your prayer, execute, show up, forgive, love, build, create, believe, try again. The question isn't, are you consistent? The question is, can you implement can you execute? Can you do what is right? Can you handle the uphill war of significance? Anything worthwhile is uphill. It requires a rewiring, a redirection, and a 180. That's the rate of learning. It's not about how much you can write down. It's not just about the conferences and the coaching. It's, are you going to follow through? No more depression, no more anxiety. Buy blame game, buy anger. Somebody drop in the comments something you want to say goodbye to today. Buy to complaining, buy to arrogance, buy to pride, buy to comparisons, buy to negotiating myself out of my purpose and my destiny. Goodbye to divorcing my future and telling myself, I don't have what it takes, I can't do it, I'll start Monday. Everything that has disempowered you has to leave. We need accountability. We need constructive analysis. We need coaching and mentorship. We need friends that are not going to be afraid to tell us when we've gotten off kilter. We need to make the investments required to be planted in community to optimize our performance in everyday life, that we show up personally so we can show up professionally, that everything I do behind the scenes, in the dark room, in the places where nobody can see me, I've got character, I, I'm principled, I've got integrity. And as a result, I dominate in public. See, the question isn't, are you consistent, right? Because consistency is a system of stability and regularity and uniformity. 
and you can be consistently lazy and you can consistently quit on the meal plan and you can be consistently angry and you can be consistently and habitually and religiously jealous and envious and going into relationships with an agenda that serves you and not the person seeing the relationship as a place to receive instead of give you can consistently show up in this world the wrong person every single day with your costume and your mask on underneath all of the layers of the facade lies the real you we all know that we can execute in the dimension of consistency the question is can you do what is required to fulfill your purpose can you do what it takes can you implement can you execute can you be tactical? Are you disciplined? Are you principled? Do you possess courage to walk in purpose and to fulfill your destiny? Have you trained your brain to do not what you feel like doing, but what is required of you in order to achieve an outcome? And so I don't care if you have to listen to me a thousand times, maybe you're just streaming the audio, but if you're watching me online, I just want you to drop in the comments implementation implementation is the process of putting a decision or a plan in effect this is execution this is application this is carrying out this is the uphill war between what i feel like doing and what i know i have to do I think sometimes we forget how connected we are in this great circle of life that if it's not a spouse, it's a mom. If it's not a mom, it's a dad. If it's not a sister, it's a brother. Somebody is depending on you to win. What if we could rewire that consistency? That as faithful as we have been to destroying our own lives, we could be that faithful to building something so beautiful and leaving a legacy. At the root and brunt of the blow of trauma and pain and agony lies a man or a woman who doesn't know who they are. And so every single day they live vicariously through the lives of others and they show up in the workplace and they show up at home and they show up in every room that they walk in every single day another version of themselves spiraling farther and farther from the place of grace and execution and confidence and courage and prowess and excellence whether you're walking running lifting meditating sitting in your closet crying in your car sliding down the wall beating on your chest looking yourself in the mirror but you've come to the resolve that this is the end of this version of me i know who i am give me my crown I don't say that braggadociously, but I recognize that all of a sudden, the ashes and the scales fall off of my eyes of royalty. It's hard to be poor, and it's hard to be wealthy, and it's hard to give up, and it's hard to let yourself go, and it's hard to not believe in yourself. And it's hard to wake up every single day. Try again.